Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How's your practice going? Last week we learned primary chord, right? C chord, F chord, C chord coming back, and G chord, and we like it, which is Amen. So, Amen. Most important chords and used often in the music. Today, we're going to use this primary chord and inversion and play it different songs, which is cuckoo. Have you heard before? Maybe, maybe not. It's okay. This is very simple song. Today, with this song, we're going to learn three different techniques on the left hand. First, block the chord, which is only we know it, right? The original chord, E chord. And the second pattern is Wart's pattern. Used a lot of time in Romantic era for the dance of Wart's. That's why this song is Cuckoo Wart's. And the next one is just breaking up the chord and play it one note at a time. So today is learning different patterns of left hand and also we're going to learn staccato playing. First, let's work on technique. First the technique is playing in root position, original chord, going up and down. When you practice this one, you have to focusing on dropping six notes at the same time not like one at a time but drop more the six notes exactly at the same time and also as you play it you have to remember the distance between the keys don't move your hands you have to just put it there and just lift it up and shifting it rather than each time you're trying to find the note okay the first line is literally going up and down and problem is the second line. There is a skip and coming down and back. That's normally how we play it in the music. There's lots of skips to find the chord. So that's the one that we are going to work on today. Let's go slow, find hand position on C. Skip, skip, skip. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, shift it up. Definitely, the first line is easy because you're just literally going up all the way to C and coming down. And the next one, you go from C to G position. That's how often we go. And stepping down to F, going to G again, and skipping down. So actually, these two notes are the same for the E chord. Do you see it? That's a G chord. E chord is E, G, B. So G, B is the same, but you have to aim it exactly to skip the notes. So practice this one a couple of times and stepping up. Again, the same thing from F to D chord. And F and D chord is the same way. Two notes are the same, only one note is different and skipping down. So you have to be able to find a skip right away. This is most confusing part. So I want you to practice, take it out that one a couple of times and play it whole entire technique. You don't have to play it fast. Just play it slow 
And if you can speed up to 80, that's the passing score. 80 is about this tempo. So it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And if you can speed up faster than this, that would be great. But try not to play too fast. Rather than fast, working on the sound quality and hand position. Now moving on to the number two. Second exercise is about the same thing but breaking up the right hand. This technique we will use a lot. We call that one broken chord. Broken chord is literally the same chord but you just play it one note at a time, right? C, E, G. Shifting up D chord, one note at a time. E chord, one note at a time. The left hand is just blocking the chord and going up. Right hand is breaking. Now let's see how it goes. Find hand position and see. We will go slow. One, two, go. C chord and D chord. E chord. F chord. G chord. A chord. Number two and number three is literally just going up and down. There is no skip, but this one you have to be able to play it faster than the number one. So tempo should be about 112. great. This technique will be used often in the song. So it's really good technique. Now, number three is shifting the hands. Right hand plays the chord and this time left hand is breaking up. See? Now let's do play a little slow. First time Find hand position, ready, one, two, play. to 112 it should be fine now technique number four is both hand is breaking up so it goes both hand is playing the breaking up some people said this is easier than one hand's breaking up maybe because the both hands move the same way but some people said this is hard i don't know it depends on let's see which one is easier Okay, now find hand position, the same, one, ready, go!
actually call the first note name instead of the chord because if I keep calling the chord name sometimes it's confusing so that's why but is it still the same B chord A chord F G chord this exercise is the same too you have to speed up to 112 so practice every day at least like five times and then if you are okay then move it on to your song